to the joy of music. Today we come to you from Berlin, Germany, as we bring you music from Berlin Cathedral. Situated in former East Berlin, the newly restored Protestant Cathedral was built as the court church of the German Kaisers. A late 19th century attempt to match the glory of London, St. Paul's and Westminster Abbey. Having survived two world wars, the cathedral has risen from the ashes to bear spiritual witness to the history of Germany. It is a stunning symbol of the faith and courage of the citizens of Berlin and all who have worshipped here. Two, heavy Allied air bombardments left the cathedral in ruins. The dome collapsed into the main sanctuary below, and the crypt chapel was so badly damaged that it had to be demolished. Reminders of the past are inescapable, as pockmarks and chunks are missing from the blackened stone exterior. An 18-year reconstruction project began when the eastern part of Berlin was under communist rule. But by the time the work was completed in 1993, at a cost of 63 million marks, the city was no longer divided. Now the cathedral's gilded splendor and the sound of the magnificent organ can be enjoyed by all.
pleasure to welcome to the Joy of Music today well-known oratorio and opera star Norma Sharp, who makes her home here in Berlin. Norma has sung major roles in the Bayreuth Festival, as well as many of the leading opera houses of Europe. She now is Professor of Voice at the Berlin Conservatory of Music. of the Nikolai Quarter, where Berlin had its beginnings in the 13th century. In the middle of the quarter stands the Nikolai Church, and surrounding the church are beautiful flower-laden buildings, restaurants, and houses. Street musicians play on the street while happy people stroll by. Now more than 750 years old, the city of Berlin has been a focal point throughout Germany's history. From the 1300s, Berlin prospered as a crossroads of important trade routes, and it became filled with merchants and artisans of every description. It was the German capital from 1871 until 1945. And during the 1920s and early 30s, it was an important European social and cultural capital. Today, Berlin remains one of the highlights of history, art, and culture 
in the world. War II, when the decision was made to renovate the historic church and organ, about one-third of the pipework had been lost due to damage and the looting which followed. Now restored to its original state, the great organ stands as a singular example of high romantic organ building. It is most appropriate that three fields of the organ gallery are decorated with mosaics. Christ transfigured with all his angels, angels sounding trumpets, and angels singing praises. The ornate organ, a masterpiece by Wilhelm Sauer of Frankfurt on der Oder, has 113 registers with more than 7,200 pipes. of the Kaiser Wilhelm Church, or Memorial Church, stand along the Kurfürstendamm as a dramatic reminder of the devastation of war. The bell tower is all that remains of the church, which was constructed between 1891 and 1895 and dedicated to the Emperor Kaiser Wilhelm I. In striking contrast, a new memorial church of very modern design was built between 1961 in 1963. The interior of the church is awash in the brilliant blue of its many stained glass windows, imported from Chartres in France.
I am walking along Berlin's best known street, the Kurfürstendamm or Kudamm, as many people call it. It is lined with shops, art galleries, theaters, movie houses, hotels, restaurants, and sidewalk cafes. It bustles with activity night and day. When the Berlin Wall secluded the other elegant thoroughfares within the eastern portion, the Kapurstendam became for West Berlin a center of activity and remains the liveliest avenue in Berlin today. Unter den Linden is the central thoroughfare of Old Berlin.
called Unter den Linden, which means under the linden trees. It was the most elegant and stately avenue of pre-war Berlin. Along its span, we find such landmarks as the Brandenburg Gate, the Opera House, Humboldt University, the Museum of German History, the Palace Unter den Linden, former Palace of the Crown Prince, and the magnificent Berlin Cathedral. for joining us today as we have brought you music from the Cathedral of Berlin, Germany. Oh, praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with the trumpet. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the Joy of Music. Berlin for providing accommodations while on location. Thank you for joining us today on the Joy of Music. Diane Bisch and the Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible. <laughs>